This video shows the modification replacing the original calibration square under the cyclic tower with the 3D printed calibration square that allows for uh, centering help piece, helping piece and also allows the cyclic grip to be folded down in case you have a low desk and you need to push the Puma under your desk to make some space this will save you a lot of space. You start by the rear right cyclic leg and remove the screw that attaches the calibration square. There's a second screw on the front left, front left leg. There's another screw that you need to remove to release the calibration square. Then the next step are the two screws that attach the front legs of the cyclic tower to the pedal frame. You'll find them at the front, down or bottom part of the legs going into the pedal channel. Remove those two screws. Then you can slide the calibration square to the right. The picture shows left, but if you're uh, behind the unit, it's going to be to the right. You can push the cyclic grip to the left on top and this will push the calibration square out to the right side. Once you have that out, you can basically fold the cyclic grip down and the bar, uh, since the square is not there anymore, nothing keeps it into place and position. You can buy the calibration square on our website or you can print it if you have a 3D printer or if there's a 3D printing shop close by that you trust. You can bring them the file and they can bring it for you in any color. You push the printed calibration square the reverse way into the cyclic tower as he, so that is it's centered. And because we removed the two screws on the front legs, you can easily push down the calibration square in place. You don't break anything. It's fine to push it down in that position. You see now how the square is used as a centering help with the piece that fits into the calibration square. In that position you can still calibrate the device by going left and right, forward, backwards and also leave the bar in the center. If you reverse the piece it moves into flight mode closing the hole nicely so that you will not accidentally push the cyclic bar into that hole. If you remove the piece you can then fold up or fold down the cyclic grip and put it in folding position or if you need more space again to push the frame under your desk and you'll save lots of space like that. The last thing that needs to be done is to put the screw back, the four screw that you removed so that the frame will be solid and rigid. There's Again, two screws to attach the calibration, the new calibration square, and two screws that attach the front legs into the pedal channel.